The Coffee Cup Revolution is really focused on um, seeing the amount of coffee cups that are present in our everyday lives and that we're throwing in the garbage every single day. Um, so when the Binners project started, we were really reaching out to Binners saying, what really bothers you about binning? And a lot of people let us know that it was really about um, how many coffee cups they see in the garbage every single day. So what we've learned from meeting with the Binners regularly is that they are unseen. So I think there is, a, I would say, a fear from the public. And I don't think it's bad intention. I think it's just we don't really know about these people. And, they are often in the dark, they work during the night, or they are, they are with their cart, they're not always clean, so I think there is a fear around it and just a lack of understanding or like a lack of um, knowledge about what they do. Last year we collected over 44,000 coffee cups mm -hmm. and stacked them in Victory Square. We had over 150 binners coming out mm -hmm. um, and it was a huge success so we were able to follow the coffee cups to the end of their lives mm -hmm. and see and really get that recycling going. We want to destigmatize binning because we feel that binners are useful for the society. Mm -hmm. They're helping the city to be clean. Mm -hmm. They're actually cleaning, cleaning up back lanes. Mm -hmm. um, they, they've been um, reducing the waste, basically. Recycling, they, mm -hmm. they collect bottles, can, they're just helping with recycling. Well, I would say take an earnest look at how much coffee cups you're consuming every day. Mm -hmm. um, the average Canadian consumes 2.8 coffee cups per day mm -hmm. that's going in the landfill. On average, that coffee cup is being used about 10 or 15 minutes, and then mm -hmm. it spends about 500 years in the landfill.